Like Ferris Bueller once said, life moves pretty fast and if you don't stop once in a while, you just might miss it. It's a bit like that at the cinema. One, two, three, four. Welcome to Cinema Scoop, our guide to the movies coming to your local cinema over the summer holidays. We're going to be looking at films you might already know about to some new ones worth looking out for. What better way to escape your busy lives than with a great movie? Whatever your taste, keep watching because we've got it covered. We've all been there, driving along on a hot summer day, head out of the car window with the breeze rushing across our face, a bit like Marmaduke. The comic strip canine hits the big screen this summer, voiced by Owen Wilson. Out here, the dog park is like high school for dogs. You've got your jocks and your cheerleaders. Oh, Frisbee! Your drama geeks. Bang, bang. The only question is, where do I fit in? Now, who can resist a talking animal? Especially if that talking animal is a super spy. In Cats and Dogs 2, the Revenger Kitty Galore, the four-legged and furry foes are back to save the world. Meow. And this time, they're having to work together. This is historic. Three species putting aside our differences to solve a mystery. Yeah. Real professional. What? I slipped. They must be barking. Sorry. Middle school is the dumbest idea ever invented. This place is an intellectual wasteland. You got kids like me who haven't hit their growth spurt yet. Mixed in with gorillas who have to shave twice a day. School. There's always someone cooler, someone geekier, someone weirder, someone more popular, someone less popular, and someone who, despite it all, still comes out on top. It's all in The Diary of a Wimpy Kid. You can be 13 or 30 and still relate to this hilarious family film. Come here! She's a girl! Where do I grab her? Occupado! <laughs> Tom Cruise, Cameron Diaz, fast cars, faster bikes, sharp script, and a slamming soundtrack. What's not to like about night and day? Pilots are dead. It has been shot. By who? Me. Actually, I shot the first pilot. He shot the second one accidentally. One of those things. Tom and Cameron re-team for the first time since Vanilla Sky and don't pull any punches. Well, that's not strictly true. I'm sorry, it's reflex. What you just did is impossible. Based loosely on a sequence in the Disney animation Fantasia, the Sorcerer's Apprentice is a big screen live action adventure which sees Nick Cage re-team with National Treasure Director John Turtletaub. So you know you're in for one heck of a ride. Are you insane? Swapping spells for some comedy magic, do you see what I did there? Adam Sandler, Chris Rock and a whole host of other familiar faces play a bunch of friends who reunite after not seeing each other for years and try to recapture their youth in Grown Ups. Class is in Well, since we saw Angelina Jolie take a stand for strong women, and in contemporary action thrill assault, she's at her best. She plays a CIA agent who's accused of being a secret Russian spy, something she knows nothing about. Today, a Russian agent will travel to New York City to kill the president. The name of the agent is Evelyn Salt. My name is Evelyn Salt. Then you are a Russian spy. Maybe it'll be fun if I DJ'd your hookup. What was our rule? Just because I can hear you through the wall doesn't mean I get to participate. Going the Distance is a new romantic comedy about long distance relationships starring real life couple Drew Barrymore and Justin Long. Is air in there, please? <laughs> I miss you already. What are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. From cool moves to smooth moves. <laughs> Ah! Yeah! 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 Yeah!
We all remember the Karate Kid, waxing on and waxing off with Mr. Miyagi. We're getting to do it all afresh in the Karate Kid. Jaden Smith and Jackie Chan are Dre Parker and Mr. Han. But if you've got a problem and no one else can help, then you can always hire the A-Team. Liam Neeson is Hannibal, Bradley Cooper is Face, Charlto Copley is Murdoch, and Quinton Rampage Jackson is B.A. Baracus. And he still ain't getting on no plane. I ain't stepping foot in any type of aircraft. Man up! Get in the plane! We gotta finish the escape! Man up and get in there! And from action stars to action figures. Do you remember your first day in a new job or new school? Moving house and meeting new neighbours? Hold that thought. Buzz, Woody and the gang are back for their most exciting adventure yet. Andy's off to college and so the toys get rehomed in a local daycare centre, making new friends and new enemies. You and your friends ain't ever getting out of here. It's the film everyone is talking about. It's Toy Story 3. You would not believe what I've been through tonight. Toy Story 3 is even out in 3D at a load of cinemas, so if you want to add that extra dimension to your summer entertainment, then this should be on your list. But it's not the only 3D title hitting the big screen this summer. What you saw before is just the beginning. 3D has never been more impressive and made the cinema-going experience more unique. And what better way to show it off than with the thrilling dance moves of Step Up 3D. Oh, that's so sick! Mystical action adventure, The Last Airbender in 3D. And Scaly Scarefest, Piranha 3D. Oh my God. Sam. Ah! Piranha. There can be only one, that's what they say, but this summer there are two quirky movies to keep your eye out for. Edgar Wright is taking on the Scott Pilgrim graphic novels and bringing them to life in Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Mr. Pilgrim! I'm Ramona's first evil ex-boyfriend. Wait! We're fighting over Ramona? Didn't you get my email explaining the situation? I skimmed it. Mm -mm. In this fast-paced visual treat, Scott played by Michael Cera, has to defeat the seven evil exes of the girl he fancies so that he can date her. From comic book conflict to something darker, we get to the gritty thriller The Girl Who Played With Fire, the sequel to The Girl With The Dragon Tattoo. For a different type of mystery, then we suggest you check out the beguiling animated marvel that is The Illusionist. Well, that's just a taste of what's to come at your local cinema. The first and best place to see movies that make memories. Why not check out the sublimely stylish Gansborg? Catherine Zeta-Jones' latest The Rebound. And there's lots more too. When you get a moment, why don't you check out our movie section on the website for more film info. Until next time, live large, live life on the big screen.